soil test coming back with, with low nitrogen levels in the soil. Um, maybe the yields aren't coming off or, or getting lower protein and, and there's low nitrogen levels in the soil, lower than, than what, uh, what is average. So as an example, um, just where I'm at, the Camrose area, typically the, the nitrogen level in the soil test would be around that 20 to 25. Um, and now we're, we're seeing five to, to maybe 10 is what a person's hearing from, from people out there. Uh, any thoughts around that? Like uh, what, what's causing that? What, what can be done about it? All that. I guess uh, to start that conversation, um, I, I'm seeing the same. Uh, well, I guess I'm hearing the same uh, from a lot of the retails in Southern Alberta that, yeah, we are seeing those single digits on the soil residue levels on our soil samples. And a uh, bit of a surprise, but in when I was talking to guys, I'm like, well, the yield was there. Uh, maybe that was definitely a factor for pulling more. With the dry season we've had, have we been really um, pushing our nitrogen fertilizer? Have we, like, do we usually have uh, a lot left over that that plant didn't use that season? Um, just, we, I know we had some hail too, if that had any impact on when that nitrogen was actually taken up by the plant too. Few factors for the south here. Yeah, and I think too, if we're gonna kind of add in, in in the context of Cody said, some areas were drowned out. Um, so we did assume that maybe some of those nutrients were lost, lost the environment. Uh, right. the, you know, either either leached or volatilized off, uh, or or perhaps uh, you know the, the the plants could have taken up that nitrogen early on before the effects of those environmental circumstances. So maybe it didn't necessarily translate to yield, but you know built the root architecture, built the plants, and just petered out the stress. Just you know, there's there's those instances too where those nutrients are just locked in the tissues and and roots and and didn't actually go and make yield for that farmer because of the environment. I think certain areas got lots of rain and, and the effects of that of that problem amplified as time went on. So some of those plants were still taking up those nutrients. Nitrogen could be one of them. Uh, and and it just didn't quite make it all the way to yield. So we have no productivity, but low, low t soil test nitrogen. I also would just kindly point out, I think in the grand scheme of things, we have to remember uh, when we look at a soil test or at least what it's trying to convey and what that nitrogen number means in the soil test uh, or what it's trying to tell us. Um, and it's, it's a limited amount of information and there's, there's some things, if we're just measuring the nitrate levels, there's another component of nitrogen that, that it isn't capable of measuring, or at least uh, it's a good time to talk to your lab, find out how they measure their, their end levels on their analysis and just learn a little bit about what that nitrogen number means. 